Hey guys, thanks for joining today. I will be going over uh, the brake system again. Uh, this time my brother comes over to help out uh, since he's adjusted uh, the bug uh, brakes before. So he's going to show me how he adjusts them in the proper way at least to get them to work so I can roll it out of the garage. And then after he leaves, I start working on the uh, carburetor and the fuel delivery because I want the fuel to come from the gas tank and not from a can. Oh, yeah, there's, that's right. It's there's, there's no, uh, what's it called? Uh, there's no, no those rubber grommets that are. Uh, no, what it is, it's on this side. Oh, it's on the front? You're on the bottom. Okay. <coughs> that's the other thing was that, yeah, they're all uh, different on every model. Yeah, so you. Yeah. Okay. So, so it goes this way or that way. To adjust left or right or up or yeah, down, yeah, like that. So I'm adjusting it right now. I gotta figure out which way it's going. So just go to it stops. I guess what I kind of read about. It. So just go to it stops. Yeah, go to it stops. I and think then, uh, that's the loosen way. So I may have to go up. Well, I think they're this side is really really loose, and I think it was because the brakes were frozen, and they uh, decided that they were going to loosen them completely. Yeah, and it was still locked. You can see how the tires cracked. Uh, because it sat so long, it, like, oh, yeah. so that's why it keeps losing air. So I just keep doing that until it freezes, and then yeah. we'll, we'll know to back it off. So it's one way, <clears throat> one goes one way, one goes the other. Oh, for the top pad and yeah. the bottom pad. Yeah, and if you need to know what it looks like without taking the wheel off, I have another video. Ev so... Eventually it will break. <laughs> yeah. down this is what i did on mine <laughs> I, I made uh, arrows sometimes you can see them sometimes you to can't. tighten yeah so you want to do it up so so now it's dragging a bit yeah okay so that's you kind of back it off a little and then get a it couple spins one, out of it. It should make one turn. That's how it's supposed to be. Like that. So that most likely should be good mm -hmm. on both. So you rotate it one way yep. like that for uh, one of them, and you'll see, hear it catch. Mm -hmm. Then you rotate even see your pads right here. And that's oh, why yeah. I don't think I could yeah, see cool. it. Yeah, weird. Mm. Maybe it was, no, uh, gonna, unless the holes are on the other yeah, side. Yeah, the access holes probably on the other side. Okay, so, so, so those usually if that one was, I can't even see the arrows on that. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Is in the front still or is it in the rear? Yeah, yeah, Oh, did you see the boot on the axle? That's, yeah, that's all messed up. I'm going to somehow okay. deal with that. So, down. Let's, let's uh, tighten it on this side. i got to loosen it because it's not moving now. Okay. No, uh, I'm sorry. That's actually about yeah. That's, yeah, cause, yeah, it's going up to
Oh, and it's not correcting. Look under right here, mm -hmm. this bolt, just undo it, let all the oil drain out, then get these. When you tighten these, you have to lightly tighten them. Like, you know, you do, you know, you do my hand, and you tighten one, and then just pull across, but don't over tighten them. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the best way if you just like are unsure, you can just undo that, let the oil drain, tighten it back up, Again, don't over tighten it because you can strip it and then you're screwed. The good thing is that you can always replace these. The bad thing is if you strip these happens that uh, there's like little um, uh, like threads or whatever like uh, that come out because these are these aren't like screws; they're caps, okay. uh, nuts. nuts. So you can strip that thread and then you have to they have to tap it out or something and put a new one so that's where it sucks i've had that accidentally done that thinking that you know i tighten them too hard so just don't use like you can probably use an extension if you need to, to that way it loot like you don't tighten it as much um but you just do it in kind of small turn and then you know like eighth of a turn and then that's it let's see this one is not not tightening you, yeah Man, I don't want to break the screwdriver. Don't worry about breaking the screwdriver. I got more. Yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes when you go the opposite way, it does it. I just. I'm trying to find the spot. Is it? Let me see. So today is Tuesday. Um, I guess what I'm going to do today is I've already actually kind of started taking these lines off. So uh, just to test that this wasn't clogged through here, I connected another hose through it and I blew through one end and gas poured out the other. So um, I'm pretty sure the feed line uh, from the gas tank is clear because I cleared it out from the front to the rear blowing um, the uh, brake clean through it into this the last time uh, so I'm pretty sure this line is clear and today I'm sure that this is clear I'm unsure if the previous owner had messed with the rod in there at all uh, so now I'm stuck at this point up here where uh, I believe if you connect a hose to here and try to blow through this end uh, there should be some sort of air squirting fuel through the jet into carb I assume so I think my issue is is that um, everything's working up into that point and as it comes out and goes into here it's clogged um, just like my power generator for my home um, I hadn't started in a year it got clogged the jet got clogged so I'm assuming uh, if I take this uh, drain plug out and remove the top portion of this and then uh, remove the jet then um, I can confirm or deny the, the clogging. Um, I can probably clear it out if it's clogged, put it back and see if it starts drawing fuel from the manual fuel pump up to the carb. So I'm assuming if you blew air, it should have been free and clear, but it's not. So uh, there's an obstruction. It's like blowing into a brick wall. So I'll open it up and see if uh, there is even any fuel in there. So I'm, I have this little container and I will fill it up with the remaining fuel in there and I'm sure I'm gonna find rust. All right, so just for entertainment purposes and for documentation, I've loosened these, just cracked these loose. One, two, three, four, and five. I think I need to take this connector off 
and this return spring and I think that's pretty much it and then the seam across here should pull off the entire top portion of this maybe I'll be able to flip it over so uh, yeah I think uh, I think we're okay with that so let me just check a look at this side I'm pretty sure I'll be okay Again, for documentation purposes, this is the way the gasket was on top after I pulled it off. Of course, it was sitting in there very nicely before I happened to mess with it here. It was very nicely sat in there. So that's the way it was. I pulled it off. This is the top. This is the bottom. Looks pretty much the same. No different colors. And... Now I need to look at the orientation of this little plastic clip of how I take this out and then I can take the float out and then go for the jet. The jet I'm going to have to take out through that hole, the drain hole, um, and unscrew it. So I'll see if I can see anything after I get that off. Okay, so I said I'd show you what it's like. This is what it looks like in there. I'll probably clean this out with carb spray. Actually, I don't even have any, so I'll probably dry it out and get some of this rust out. But right there in that tunnel is where that jet is, and I'm pretty darn sure that's clogged. So I'll unscrew it and see how bad it is. So here I am. I'm removing it right now. It's coming right out. It took a little bit of a thing to break it loose, but it should come out, fall out into here, and I'll pull it out from the top. So reverse order, I need to put all the screws back in on the top. I was messing with this uh, uh, valve there. I did notice that um, you cannot blow into it if this valve is stuck up. So I think I've greased it because it didn't seem to be falling down and allowing it. And now it seems to be kind of going freely. So as the float comes up and pushes it, it's it stops the fuel from going in. And now I think it's working correctly, so. All right, so all of these are tightened. It's all five. I put this back on. And of course, I did the drain bolt back in. So the jet was in there before, the float, the little C-clip that was in there, all these bolts back on around here. And so now I need to get this coil back up into this position and the hoses back on, back to the manual fuel pump. So let's go ahead and do that. Thank you.